Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson of the course. Now we just finished the normal walking and now it's time to have some fun with the zombie walking. This is how it's going to look. You can see it's just your regular zombie walking, like a zombie. And it's actually very simple to create. It's actually simpler than the normal walking because you can see that the movement is really basic. And of course, before jumping to the animation, I wanted to show you a reference of a zombie walking. Of course, these are uh, real zombies, for uh, so to say, it's from a very famous series. And you can see how they walk, how the the walking is. It's it's not a normal walking because they are dead, of course. And you can see that they are like struggling to to get his feet together. You can see how. This guy is really struggling to, to move the feet and the arms are just like hanging there. They are almost not moving the, the arms. They are just walking like with a very, very, very stru struggling a lot to, to move their limbs. So that's what we are going to, to replicate in this case for the animation. Okay. As you can see, I have already rigged the character, so we can begin with the foot. Let's begin with the the left foot, open the position, and create a keyframe here, make it easy, easy. And to begin, we're going to, to replicate what we did with the last walk, the normal walk, we're going to, to copy that here and then work our way through the zombie walk. For example, this feet, this foot on the first keyframe should be to the back just like we did before. And then ten frames later he will be he should be like this. But instead of going like this because zombies as you may know are not so athletic so this feet instead of going like this should go somewhere like this like he's really struggling to get his feet up because they are dead you know so I'm going to move another 10 frames and I'm going to set it here like this and then on the final frame I'm going to copy the first one so let's see how this looks alright this looks good but I think that he's lifting the feet the foot too much should be something like this and now this frame when he gets to the middle part we can drag it far to the right like this so that he stays more time in this position so you can see that now it looks like he's really trying to 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 crawl his way out to I don't know whatever zombies do you can see that the effect now looks better now okay so that's it with this foot now let's work with this this one should be in this position to the front and then it should be all the way to the back maybe not all the way but like this and then a little bit up and the final frame should be the one from the beginning and now what we can do is to here create repeat the same first keyframe so that it lasts more time in this position you know now he is really struggling to walk because 
after all it, he is a zombie so the the walking shouldn't be normal shouldn't be a normal walking like the one before but just play around until you you think that it's a nice zombie walk all right now that's it for the foot now it's time to change the position of the body you can see here that he's like bending over a little bit like he's the he's really trying to to get his body up he's really struggling to to not fall to the floor so we're going to replicate that right now so open up your body controller open the position and click on the stopwatch now 10 frames later make the body go up some more like this repeat this keyframe and then he goes back to the original position so he should go like this something like this maybe this is too high All right. Make sure they are all easy is keyframes. All right. Now it's time to play with the rotation of the body. Create a keyframe here and now open up both of them. Now the idea is that when he goes to this point he will rotate let's change this to 8 degrees and it's going to repeat here and on this point he's going back to normal to 0 degrees alright just move this here and that's it with the body now let's work with the hands open up the position for both of them click here and they are actually not going to move too much you can see that they are just like hanging there so let's take our front hand and change the position a little bit to the right then in the middle a little like this to the left and finally the same frame like this you can see that it looks like he's dragging their arms a little bit now let's repeat the same thing for this other hand create a keyframe make it easy ease. and over here he will be a little to the back here it will go like this make it make sure that it's a straight arm and then repeat let's see how this looks all right try to to avoid this bending of the arm so we will have to in this frame make the arm a little longer right all right so now we have to animate one final thing which is of course the shoulder open the rotation for the shoulder click here on the stopwatch 
and when it's here all the way here we're going to change the rotation to 23 like this and then go back to normal maybe even less all right this is it so you can see how this rotation makes it look like his head is about to fall off and then it picks up and just like that we created our zombie walk you can see that it's an irregular walking it's very different from the normal walking because we have the arms moving in a different position and the head rotating in a different position so the idea here on this course is to create particular walking cycles for every character because every character will have its own personality and it will have this the uh, different uh, way of walking so to end this lesson let's animate again the shadow the scaling on this point should be smaller all the way here and at the end go back to a hundred percent let's move this here all right that's it now we have a zombie walking so let's go to the next lesson